I'm Jen and welcome to my studio and this is Sayuri. She's going to be assisting me somehow today <laughs> and today we're going to be doing a step tutorial. Now a few weeks ago, bye, my assistant left, okay. <laughs> um, a few weeks ago or a few months ago, I don't remember when this is coming out, but I put out a video on how to do a shovel. If you have not learned how to do a shovel, go to that video because that is going to teach you the bare bones version of this step, the basic structure of what we're doing today and you really need to learn that first. So if you haven't learned those, go to that video and learn the shovel. Now the shovel technically is supposed to have a scuff in it. What I taught you before was like the pregame version so that you could learn how the functionality of the step works and use it in context. Now we're gonna add the trick, the trick part to it. So just giving a basic go over of the shovel do not learn this from my review right now. If you have not learned the shovel at all, don't just like learn it from the review. You really, because it can be a little tricky and in some circumstances a little unsafe to try without knowing how to do it. Um, so make sure that you learn from that video. Step tutorial playlist right there, okay? So the overview, the review of the shovel, you're gonna step Put all of your weight on it and then this foot is actually going to come up into the air. You're going to slide out to your heel and then drop this foot that's up. So you have all of your weight on this step, you pick up the back foot, you slide out to the heel and then you drop that standing foot. Okay? That's the basic outline of it. Let's try it on the right foot and then we'll try it on the left foot just to make sure we got it. Ready? Five. Six, seven, right. Good. Left foot, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So what are we adding? We're adding a scuff. There should technically be a scuff there. Between here and here, there is a scuff. What I wanted to teach you before was the mechanics. Now we're getting into adding the trick. So it's here without lifting this foot. We're just going to go step, and then you scuff, hit, and then you would land. Honestly, it feels a lot like a shiggy bop when you don't have the weight all on one foot. It feels a lot like the shiggy bop that I taught before, but because you have your weight on it, it's a very different step. So that's the mechanics. Step, scuff, dig, step. Good. Let's try it on the left foot. You have step, put, put some weight on that foot, scuff, dig, step. Left side again. Put some weight on it. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, scuff, dig. Good. So the difficulty comes with putting all of your weight on the one foot and then still doing all that. So you have step, you're going to scuff, dig, land. See how it gets like thrown in there? That's why I'm trying to show you slowly. That's how it comes together, but you just got to imagine that you're only on one foot when you do it. But now you know how your foot is supposed to do it. So here's the magic trick of it. I was working with uh, some of my girls last night and they were having a little bit of trouble with it. And I said, put your heel closer to the floor when you start. When you start it, don't go all the way up on four starch. That's a long way to go to get that scuff in there. Make your ballet teachers angry and have the lowest releve possible. So you wanna keep your heel closer to the floor. The closer to the floor it is, the easier it is to get it. Because if you're up too high, by the time you scuffed out, you're too far and you're landing already. So keep that heel nice and close. If I keep my heel close, I get it every time. If I don't, I miss a lot. Hi baby, what are you doing? Just chilling. All right, this is not really a step I can do while holding you, but this is what she does. She just like wants to interrupt and be home. Okay, okay, so this is what we're doing today. I got it. <laughs> okay, so the left foot. Step, scuff, dig, step. Let's do it again. Ready? Step, scuff, dig, step. All right, I know, I know that you want cuddles right now, 
for keeping you like five minutes, literally five minutes, and then I won't beat you down all day, okay? Don't be mad. All right, so left foot. No, I'm gonna be honest. I don't always get this left foot right. My left foot's a little bit of a dirt, <laughs> and I don't always get it right. But let's try it together. Keeping that heel down. Close. It was close. Keep your heel as far down as you can. Not flat and not all the way up, but somewhere close. Would you not knock over the lamp, please? Yes. So, step, scuff, dig, land. Left foot again. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so hopefully you're getting that sound in there. If not, it's just something that takes practice. This took me a lot of practice. It also took me a lot of practice to like relearn because I forgot it was a step for years. A couple years ago, I remembered shovels existed. Hey. <laughs> Let's play with that one. <laughs> a couple years ago, I remembered that shovels existed. All right, let's try it a couple times on the right and a couple times on the left, and then we're good. You can just practice them. All right, right side, ready? Don't forget, keep that heel low. Five, six, seven, eight. Good, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that one was good, because I kept my heel even lower. So just find the sweet spot. Everybody's body has a different sweet spot. Find your sweet spot, okay? Left side. Why do I want to end on the left? I don't know. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, all right, we did it, we did it. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. I gotta trust myself more. I gotta trust that I know these things. All right, baby. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining me for this shovel exercise. Just adding that little scuff in there. Make sure to keep your heel nice and low. Give it a good plie, and if you hadn't learned the shuffle yet, go to the other tutorial first. You're really just adding a little scuff in there. And I know that that's, it sounds, it's easier said than done, honestly, because it takes a lot of practice. But most things, most tricks in tap take a lot of practice. Don't get frustrated, just keep working at it, okay? Right, baby girl? Like you didn't get frustrated when I said I would pick you up in five minutes. You waited, you, you waited and you waited, and now it's finally here. <laughs> She's so needy. All right, um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button. Join the TAP fam, because we've got technique exercises, step tutorials like this, choreography tutorials, cats putting their claws on my shoulder. <laughs> we have cats on this channel. <laughs> Hi. And we've got vlogs, uh, challenges, anything that you can need. Sorry, there's a cat hair just floating in here. Long-haired cats, guys. So this is your YouTube tap studio with free tap dance classes, and I love being your tap teacher so much, and Sayuri loves being my assistant slash interrupter. She really does. <laughs> also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Thumbs up for Sayuri today. Thumbs up for Sayuri. So smash that thumbs up button so that other tap dancers can find these videos easier so that they can have these free resources as well. So I had a blast teaching this to you guys today. And as always, thank you for dancing with me. Do you guys hear her? Can you all come closer? It's like ASMR. You just get cat purrs at the end of this video. All right, bye guys.